Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White, and I'm coming to you from Utah, USA. Today I will be in chapter 11 in the book of Mark, in the New Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Chapter 11. And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethage, and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sendeth forth two of his disciples, and saith unto them, Go your way into the village over or against or opposite you, and as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a colt tied, whereon never man sat. Loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him, and straightway he will send him hither. And they went their way and found the colt tied by the door, without or outside, in a place where two ways met, and they loose him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye loosing the colt? And they said unto them, even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought, no, here's a, here's a prophecy for being up that was fulfilled in verse 7. And they brought the colt to Jesus and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. Now, we can find that in Zechariah 9.9. 9. So, Zechariah 9.9 9 says... Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just, or righteous, or humble, yeah, righteous, and having salvation, lowly or humble, and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. Verse eight, in Ma Ma verse 8 in Mark chapter 11. And many spread their garments in the way or the road, and others cut down branches off the trees and strawed them in the way or along the path, the road. And they went before, oh, here's another prophecy fulfilled in verse 9. And they went before, and they and they that followed cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And now we can find that in Psalms 118, verses 25 and 26. So, Psalms 118, verse 25. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. And that um, is a prophecy unfulfilled in uh, Psalms. But here in uh, chapter 11, verse 9 in Mark, it's fulfilled. Verse 10. Blessed be the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple. And when he had looked round about upon all things, and now the evening was come, or um, it, and it was already late in the day, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. That would be the twelve apostles. Verse 12, and on the morrow or the next day, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if haply or perhaps he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, and he's talking to the fig tree. No, 
let no man eat fruit of the hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. And when they come to Jerusalem and Jesus went into the temple, he began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew or over overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves. You're not supposed to buy or sell or conduct any kind of business like that of merchandise or fundraisings, anything like that. None of that should be done in the temple of God, in your church. You should not be doing that inside your church. And he taught, oh wait, verse 16, and would not suffer or allow that any man should carry any vessel or wares, merchandise, through the temple. Verse 17, and he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called of or for all nations the house of prayer? But ye have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people was astonished at his doctrine or teaching. And when eve or evening was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter calling to remember, saith unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which, which thou curseth is withered away. And Jesus answering, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when he stood, and when he, and when ye stand praying, forgive. If ye have aught or anything against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. And they came to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, there come to him the chief priests and the scribes and the elders, and say unto him, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee authority to do these things? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I will also ask of you one question, and answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? Answer me. And they reasoned within themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then did ye not believe him? But if we shall say of men, they feared the people, for all men counted John, that he was a prophet indeed. And they answered Jesus and say, said unto Jesus, We cannot tell. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. And that's the end of chapter 11. And as always, I love you.